All right, and it looks like we are live here. This chest came in today, Afterburner, as well as Fahrenheit, another Sega CD32X game. Sega! Well, that's the only one that comes with a Sega CD game and a 32X CD game. Yeah, but uh, what we're playing today is Afterburner, cartridge only. Uh, hey there, DJ. Of course, this movie, I mean, this game has been in uh, Terminator 2. John Connor plays it. It's, oh, I'm doing good. How about you? Uh, doing real good. I got uh, two new games today in the mail. This and uh, Fahrenheit. Of course, it's uh, originally an arcade game, as you can see. Uh, they don't show the controller. They show the joystick that was used in the arcade. And it even has the... Uh, the uh, diagnostic menu, I'll show that at the end. Uh, let's see, what else before I start? Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna, as you can see, the timer down there. Nobody has done a speed run of this, so I'll just throw that up there. Uh, Alright, basically this game is, uh, you don't have to kill anything, you have to just get to the end. Although, in the manual, the uh, storyline is, uh, obviously, you're a jet pilot and your mission is to destroy some uh, radars, uh, so the enemy's uh, communications will be severely uh, hampered. Yeah, and those two uh, levels are ground uh, levels. But I don't. I don't even think you have to hit anything because I saw someone do a tool tool assist that uh, went as fast as possible. Uh, basically, uh, a normal playthrough is about 22 minutes, but if you use the afterburners, it'll be like 11 minutes if you do nothing but speed as fast as possible. Now, as you can see by the on screen here, how it says two. Basically. Uh, this is the second game, even though it says it's uh, the first game. But uh, the second game is like 1.5. They did some changes, but not, not too drastic. Uh, like they added the afterburner, they did so I could go faster, and there's a, just a couple new levels. So. Not too much of a big leap for a sequel. But, uh, I think uh, that's about it. Alright, we're gonna go on very easy, because I, I looked, it seems like you get the same ending no matter what. Hardest, hard, normal, easy, extra easy. So we'll just do it on extra easy and get all the ships, make it a little bit easier. Now there are checkpoints. Uh, the checkpoints, uh, where the hell's my fucking notes? Oh, they're in there. Well, it says in the manual anyway, I think the first checkpoint is at 5, so if you die, lose all your uh, ships, you can continue. Uh, yeah, five, nine, thirteen, uh, thirteen, uh, nineteen, and I think that's it with the checkpoints. Alright, we can uh, change airplane uh, controls. Auto Vulcan one. Vulcan we want, that's the machine gun that has infinite, so might as well keep it on. The roll, basically the only thing the roll uh, is uh, good for is if there's a missile behind you, you can move out of the way where the enemy behind you, move out of the way. That's uh, all I could uh, figure out what's, what's good for. Uh, I like it like that, where the missiles are uh, close to the uh, afterburners to go as fast as you can. Hey there, Dins. Uh, world record is, uh, I win by default, that's what, for, well, uh, for the uh, 32X, the only Afterburner game on the, uh, speedruns.com is, uh, for Afterburner Climax, which is for PS3, 360. Yeah, it seems like, uh, a lot of the 3, 32X games, nobody runs those games, so, I'll be the first one to put a record up there, and if anyone else wants to, uh, try and beat it. But like, I, but like I said, most people don't do 32x because, uh, as you can see right here, you gotta get all the wires and shit. It didn't sell too well, so not many people have it, let alone trying to speed run it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, so he shows the uh, arcade menus. Uh, now this runs at 30 frames per second, so it's not 100%. Uh, Arcade perfect. That doesn't bother me. Once we get down and below fucking fucking single digits, that that's when it starts being a problem. I know people say, oh, 60 frames per second, it's unplayable unless it's 60 frames. 
I, I didn't have a problem. And you'll see I don't have a problem. Oh yeah, and they said the uh, aircraft carrier, that's a little low, low, low resolution from the uh, arcade. Alright, so here we go, pressing the uh, Z button to do the afterburners. Alright, now I got control. Now I don't have to hit them. Now you have to tap it, uh, and it gives you a burp boost for a little bit, but uh, just be safe. Oh, fuck. There we go, there's a first loop. Uh, I think you gotta like double tap it. Yep. Just keep moving, that's the strategy here. Just keep moving so you don't get hit. When it says fire, then you can fire your missiles, but uh, your mi missile smoke can uh, block your view. Right, uh, you get 50 missiles, and then with the reload, you get 50 more. And it's not like Top Gun; that's auto. You don't have to fucking fucking uh, steer it. Fire! It's like Konami's fucking was a headset. That can't know what the fuck it's called. Woo! Didn't mean to do that. Uh, I got set for both a whole day and uh, double tap or whatever the fuck it is. Concentrate on dodging everything. Of course, shooting them out of the sky before they shoot your missiles uh, makes you safer. And you can fire the uh, missiles without uh, locking on, so don't just uh, randomly tap the missiles. Alright, here we go. We got our checkpoint. Alright, to the right, it's either a reference to Top Gun or Yu Suzuki's other ga game, Hang On. You let me know. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't set, set, set the timer, nobody told me. I'm gonna restart this. Fuck. Doing so good, too. Good thing I looked over. Ah, oh, shit. For some reason, whenever I restart this shit, it, do, it doesn't restart. Self-explanatory. Oh, there you go. You know I'm doing this live here. I'm gonna put that fuck up. Uh, fucking pre-recorded bullshit. Yeah, here we go. You can do it uh, D-pad only, A only. Uh, yeah, I'll keep them on both ways. Alright, now I'll, I'll hit it now. Let me, let me double check the uh, options. I got six ships extra, blah blah blah. Alright, we're all good here. Vulcan's on. Alright, here we go. Three, two... Oh wait, no, it's not. Hey there, Emerald. Yeah, I just you just made it. I, I restarted. I forgot to put on the fucking timer going for the world record, which is by default. The fuck? Wait. Oh, there it is. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Now it's fucking going. Alright, like I said, the aircraft carrier isn't... Uh, High resolution like the in the arcade, that's one difference, but it's uh, pretty close to arcade. Yeah, the Vulcan uh, the machine guns aren't uh, that useful except for the ones coming up behind you and uh, shooting round troops. Oh yeah. It's all about dodging. Just keep tapping that uh, afterburn. Now the world can fuck you up if there's a missile coming straight at you. Ah! Well, like I said, I was doing so good that other run. Jesus Christ, made it to the fifth level without getting hit. Yep, he played this on uh, T2. Yep, okay. Now, like I said before, uh, don't have to. That's all automatic on like Top Gun for the NES. Here, fire them, fire. You want to use up your missiles without a lock. Such great music in this game. Oh fuck! Like I said, I was doing so good the first time, dude. Oh yeah, you get one ups at uh, 300 million, then. Uh, 10 million, then that every 10 million after that. Yeah, let me check.
checkpoint. John Connor. Of course, we're up. Oh, Top Gun over there. Or a reference to Hang On. You decide. Yeah. This game was made by Yu Suzuki, who also did Hang On, and there'll be a reference to his other game, uh, Outrun, later on in the next landing. Ah! Ran right into that one. God right behind me. Now you can uh, oh. ah, yeah, I see it. Coming straight at you. That's when you get hit by the bucket. You roll. Yep, see the radar. Ah, oh, slow down and hit him. So he would pass. Alright, now we gotta slow down here. The walls can't hit you. See, look, slow down like that. Alright, now here's the, the base. Uh, the whole mission here is to destroy these radars and shit. Now, I was watching somebody's playthrough, but they had cheats on, so they hit the walls and didn't die. Now, here, here's where you slow down, so you can uh, not hit. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do with the fucking No, Jesus. We're gonna do that over again. Fucking disconnected. Oh, shit. Anyone still out there? Oh, I wasn't feeling that run anyway again after after a good start. Very easy. Alright, here we go. Third time's a charm. Hopefully we won't get another disconnection. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, I just uh, disconnected. I want to do it again. Don't want to re-upload uh, another video of uh, for speedruns.com. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, there we go. Uh, the carrier isn't as high resolution as the arcade. It's all about uh, making it to the end. Doesn't matter if you hit, uh, kill the enemies. Oh, look at that. I don't have the Vul Vulcans on. I've got some. So, constantly hit the up. Uh... Mm, Lord, right. I haven't played that one. Don't have to, uh, that's auto, unlike uh, Top Gun for the NES where you have to do that manually. Most people can't do that, especially the aircraft carrier landing. Now, of course, uh, if you're not going as fast as I am, you can you have more time to dodge those fucking missiles. Expansion worth more. Uh, what the uh, 32x? Fire! Fire! All right now I can land. That expansion worth a bit. For eighty dollars, paid fifty. Oh, the PC. 
Alright, now is that a reference to Top Gun or Yu Suzuki's Hang On? Slow down now. Oh, I try to slow down. Okay, slow down here. Don't want to hit the. Uh, no, I don't have the auto here. Don't want to hit the sides. Now, uh, you, it doesn't go back to center. It doesn't straighten you out in this plane, so be aware of that. So you see how I'm constantly turning like that? So just be aware of that. So don't uh, overdo it. Remember, this was made for the arcade joystick analog. I, I believe that resets. aren't pointless and get the uh, one-ups uh, first at 3 million then at uh, 10 million and every 10 million after that all right auto I mean yeah auto don't have to manually do it like top gun oh, let's speed up again get the fuck out of here yeah I'm using the six button controller not OEM but uh, yeah having the six button makes it a little easier on speed C is for speed up well, fuck X is for medium speed and uh, slow down is X. X slow, Y, medium. It's fast Z. Oh, that's not nice. I don't think the machine guns are a one hit kill. Yeah. Ooh, look at that, look at that. When you do that spin, the fucking big plane fucking spins with you. Ah, oh, I saw that one coming. Do you like G lock? Uh. I'm not, I don't think I heard of that. Come on, 13. Don't get hit. That's that's where we fucking save. Get to level 13. Yes. Good. Made the checkpoint if I die because I had no lives left. Similar game on Genesis. Uh, I don't believe I played it. There we go. Uh, Outrun. Yu Suzuki reference right there. He also made Shenmue. Yep. Well, that's good. Died right there, so we get our six lives back. There we go. Checkpoints. Well, of course, they show this again. You should be taken off. Outrunners is great, but uh, gets no mentions. Yep. Yeah, I didn't have enough time to do a, a port of it for the 32X, like uh, they did with Space Harrier. Also, another Yu Suzuki game. Alright, speed up. Ah, saw that one. Ah, pretty good, you say. I, I heard it wasn't that good, too uh, dramatic and shit. I haven't seen it myself yet. I had a chance to uh, go over there where they were filming. 
I've been to the uh, quick stop before. But unfortunately, my car was uh, broke down at the time when they were filming. Couldn't get there. Fuck you! Great music. Oh, that's a close one. Ah, oh, I saw that one coming. I think it's, we gotta get to make it to him. Slow down! Slow down! <clears throat> yeah, that just creeps up on you. There's the other base where we gotta take down these radars. Although we don't have... Actually, we have... Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Well, you just saw off the cliff. Yup. Fucked it up. Told you what. Ah, oh, shit. I, I, the fuck does it save? When the fuck does it save? At the 13 uh, checkpoint at 19. The longest one. That probably was gonna make it anyway. So the sooner to die, the better. Duh. Right, next uh I will guess I slow down before I hit one of those fucking bolts again. No. Oh. Stuff, but Act 3, Climax, Road Trails, usually has a big thing kept off, but she revisited it. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, Jesus. Oh, good, made it that time. Almost at 3 million, I can get a 1 up. Alright, this time, we gotta remember. That, yep, there we go, I got a 1 up. 3 million. Now, next one's at 10 million. Don't go too hard. So, I'm constantly going to those straighten out. I should have checked out uh, what, what gives you the most points here. That's important to get hit it. Oops. And now we've got the need for speed. Sprite scaling games, yep. Alright, here we go. I got a checkpoint. That run was awesome. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm gonna just mention that one. I think this one we gotta go real fucking fast because there's a lot of shit going here. Yep, like I said, it's got a checkpoint.
Reload. Heal up and blow them up. Another 50 missiles. Now look, look at the radar. You see how I'm going right? I stay like in the middle. Now, but when I go left, for some reason it looks like I go further left. I don't know if that's my controller or my game. Or what the fuck's going on here? Or it's well, you said the game. That's why I'm going left here. Got a bogey on me. Where's the goose when you need him? Oh yeah, goose is dead. Ah, they finally got me. Hey there, Blitzcrag. Stage 23 is the ending. There's no en enemies on it. Uh, I don't know when to... When, when the credits come up, I'll hit the uh, timer. Like I said, wait until... I'll check the comments in a second when it... I guess I guess that's it. 1323. Mission complete. Does not look like Top Gun there. Far left, you'll be a Democrat. The Communist Party. Elections tomorrow. Yeah, vote out the uh, Communist Party. Yep, already done, Sonny. This is a fast one. Uh, 13 minutes. I believe the tool-assisted game was uh, 11 minutes and something other. So not too bad. Yeah, most people get it done in 22 minutes, but they're not using the afterburner. I don't think they know about that. Yeah, the uh, videos I've seen. Yeah, it's only uh, 23 stages, and the last stage is the ending. And uh, I think stage 5 is just, uh, you don't even have enemies, it's just a, it's a checkpoint, you uh, refuel and uh, rearm up. It's a short one, but it's a good one, but then again we can uh, put this on a harder difficulty, that'll take a little bit longer. Alright, now so you know it's me, I'll put in my initials here. S, W, there we go. Uh, no I did not upgrade the internet. Lately. Now for tomorrow, hopefully, we've got another one, Fahrenheit. That uh, comes with the Sega CD and 32X version. All the ones to do, do that. Yeah, it's practice running that, but uh, it's. It, it's an FMV game, you get a fun wait, that ain't the fucking notes. Uh not hundred percent sure on that, you gotta find like bonus uh uh hidden items to get the ending, the full ending. I'm not hundred percent sure on that, but we'll see. Sega. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. The uh menu while we're at it, that uh, hidden menu. Alright, to do it, when Sega comes up, AC and start. Wait, he didn't say the C. He's got he's to say, get ready. Oh, it's not plugged in. I forgot I unplugged it. That that, that would fucking help. That would really fucking help to have it plugged in. Hmm, you don't have a single 32X game? AC. Start. There you go. Get ready. And then on the first controller, uh... ABC and start. ABC. Yeah, ABC and start. On the attract mode. There we go, right there at that point. 
And they left this in the, from the uh, arcade mode. Press start to... Input test. Yeah, I don't have those start lamps and shit here. Motor test. Listen. CRT test, dip switch, don't have any dip switches here, so it doesn't look like I'm doing anything by pressing all the buttons. Bookkeeping, total time, two minutes, total credits, three coin credits. Number of games. Pressing the A button does this time, game time. Yeah, because this was a short game, I was going to do Fahrenheit right after this, but uh, I haven't done the practice run. Big fucking game, you gotta find all that shit. And you gotta, that one you gotta play on the hardest difficulty to get the uh, full ending. But uh, they say the 32x game has a, has a glitch where it says, says the same thing as say it. You gotta beat it on the hardest level. But I'm not sure on that because I was watching the guy's video. Uh, he did not get all the. Uh, the, uh, collectibles. So that might have been the reason why you didn't get the ending. We'll, we'll find out when I play it. A lot of viewers now, but yet I'm done playing. Short game. Well, final comments, and then I'm uh, shutting this down. Nine people watching. Sega. Uh, you're welcome, RX. Although I'm not sure when you got here, being this is a, such a short game. Uh, no, I haven't done the practice run on an Extreme G yet. Yeah, it's in console right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, 32X games uh, since they just came in today. There we go. Top score, you, you Suzuki, the maker of this game.
Yeah, the big problem with Extreme G is that one uh, lava level. That's a pain in the ass. I don't believe I ever got a chance to play this one in the, in the arcade. Uh, no, not yet. Since Thanksgiving is coming up, I might get the uh, NFL uh, quarterback club. That, that one's the uh, cheapest one that I haven't gotten so far. Uh, looking... Yeah, I'll pull up a price chart real quick before we leave. Yeah, it's like, I think it's like just under 30 CIB. I'll probably get CIB or like 25. Let's see. Price chart. And uh, yeah, that's the next uh, cheapest one on the list. Uh, all right, it says 25 dot, well, 24.99 to be exact for uh, CIB. $16 loose. Uh, the next one up that I need is a Tough Man Contest. That's uh, $24 uh, loose. Uh, 62 CIB and then up from there the next one that I don't have is uh, NBA Jam that's a good one although I got on Atari uh, Jaguar I'm not sure if I'll get that one loose or CIB uh, loose it's uh, $41 uh, $69 uh, CIB and uh, Zaxxon's mother base I tried it I was bidding on it but I got outbid at the uh, last second uh, CIB, uh, CIB it's going for uh, $104, loose uh, $44.92, next one above that is Mortal Kombat 2 for $45, uh, loose $80 CIB, I'll probably get that one CIB, I used to have the uh, Super Nintendo version. After I was an arcade staple, Hang On in the arcade. I believe I played ha Hang On. I know I did. I don't know if there's any more with the uh, motorcycle where you move over, move on it. I definitely played uh, one of those. Unless if that's the only one, then yes, I played Hang On in the arcade. I had a Chuck E. Cheese. Mortal Kombat 2 on the 32X is a good version. Yeah, I heard it. It was uh, it's uh, the best version now that uh, that generation. Now the the PlayStation and the Sega C yeah no Sega Saturn versions are have the loading times with Shang Song, so that that's why they aren't the top tier. They they say they they're not the best ones. I wouldn't get those ones either because of the loading. Having that Shang Song transform load load load. Gotta have the cartridge to do that. And it seems like 32X is the uh, most powerful out of the cartridge uh, games that gen. <coughs> Sega. Yeah, so I got uh, 16 of out of the 36 games. We're almost halfway through. Just gonna buy two more. And halfway through the library. Yep. Lucky it's a small library. Uh, now the 36 is including the uh, the uh, 32x CD games. We're just counting the cartridges. It's only 31. Yeah, they only made five CD games. Yeah, I'd count as uh, the, the Sega Saturn games that I've beaten. 
Uh, I forget, did I put put the thing on it? On the I forget what I put on the thumbnail. Oh yeah, they were going to have a uh, port uh, Alien Trilogy to 32X, but that got cancelled. They're also going to port the uh, beat-em-up uh, Alien vs. Uh, Predator. Of course, that got cancelled. Really wish that one got ported. Yeah, see, there's a missile right there. That's that's one of the most useful. Hopefully nobody's shooting you from the front though. Mm. Yeah, I should probably add that sometime later. Hopefully I don't forget. Put a thumbnail of that. Uh, I mean, aside from, uh, Afterburner and, uh, Fahrenheit, I just got those today. I also got, I finally, uh, got the, uh, Shredder's, uh, Revenge here for the, uh, Switch. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's, uh, well, definitely this card is, uh, something different from the, uh, other versions, the other publishers. Got Donatello here, it says limited run on it. Got a coupon here for 5% off next game. Next game. Of course, I'm not going to show it on a camera, the uh, codes right there. Got the manual, since when uh, do they put manuals in games anymore. Oh, I got the, mine a couple days ago, like uh, two or three, I, I forget when. That's uh, nice you're getting it too. Ah, Three Dirty Dwarves. Yeah, I definitely want to do that someday. So many games, so little time. Oh, they take too much time anyway. Oh, let's see, what what the hell is it? Oh, I fell the fuck off. And, uh... What is this reversible co cover with the uh, same thing? Ah, here we go. Comes with the uh, stickers. Not sure if that's in the uh, other ones. Retail. Also, we got the uh, free pizza. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that, just like in the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. When does it expire? Yeah, I got to drive. Oh, there it is. December 31st. Well, I got a whole year to use it. I'd like to keep it though. I mean, it says use code, so I can't use it again. Yeah, I'm looking at the reversible cover here, but it looks like the uh, same thing as uh, on both sides. Yeah, it looks like the same thing on both sides. Shadow Gangs is awesome. You should grab Dreamcast version of it. Uh, I've never heard of Shadow Game. Oh, Shinobi type game. I should probably check into that. I do like the Shinobi games. I got the first one for Master System and the third one for Genesis.
uh, Saturn games. Uh, I was looking uh, to get, uh, was it Mr. Bones? That was also a, another Ed Annunziata game. Yeah, he did Echo, Calibri, uh, Three Dirty Dwarves, uh, uh, Spider-Man. Uh, technically did Spider-Man vs. the King Kingpin. That, that was, uh, I'm not sure if he had any involvement in that version, but uh, it's definitely based off uh, his first Genesis game. Oh yeah, about uh, Mega Man 8, it seemed the guy, the, the guy canceled my order, because uh, uh, PayPal taking too long. I don't know he if he did that manually or uh, was automatic, but uh, well, he's got it up there again. I could probably uh, buy it off him. I mean, he uh, re-uploaded it again. Fucking PayPal takes their sweet ass time. But uh, I do definitely want to get Mega Man 8. Looking at a couple things online on eBay to get. Yeah, you know what? I'll look up uh, what games on Saturn. Yep, Mega Man 8 is the. Uh, Anyway, the fourth most expensive Saturn game. Of course, the uh, most expensive one is Panzer Dragoon Saga. Saturn Bomberman, I have, uh, but I got the uh, Japanese version way cheaper. Should I got that when it was like a, a little over $100 CIB years ago? I was looking at it. For some reason, Mortal Kombat Trilogy is expensive as hell on Saturn, whereas the other versions, no, well, I take it, didn't sell too well. Sonic Jam. Like to get that one of these days. Shinobi Legions. Another Shinobi game. Uh, it's not too expensive, just a little over $100. I should probably get that soon before it goes fucking crazy like everything else. Oh, and the hunt is a. Uh, I've never played it, but it looks good. Expensive, $289 CIB. Ah, uh, the worst. Yeah, I've never played it. Goofy digitized characters. Yep. Uh, I think the only Mega Man X game I played was the first one. So I'm not sure. I I like the original series as well as Legends. Uh, I don't. I don't really play the X games. Or the the other ones. Like what? What the hell is it? The uh. What the, what the hell are those fucking ones? The those ones for the handhelds. I forget what they're called. I actually own a drag, uh, Hands Dragon Saga. I had a copy since it was back in the day. Oh, that's good because it's expensive now. No chance to buy more controls. Facebook, Saturn. Up for a second game. Yeah, I've never played the Saturn version of Trilogy, so I don't know how good it is. But it's a CD, so Shang Tsung with his transformations, load times. Legions. Yeah, I don't have Legions yet, but uh, like I said, I eventually like like to get it. Fighting Vipers. Oh, I got that one for uh, the Japanese version as Pepsi Man. I was thinking of the other one. What the hell is it called? Uh, Fighters Mega Mix. That's the one. That one you can uh, have the character of, of the Daytona car fighting everybody else. Sonic Fighters. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think I played that one. I forget if, I forget if there was even a port of it somewhere. Yeah, usually on the collections or secret, some shit like that. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, elections tomorrow. Vote the communist out. I'll most likely be playing Fahrenheit tomorrow. Oh, you're thinking of Virtual Fighter Kids. Tinder girls are right first. Well, with that, that looks like a good time to uh, stop this. See you guys on the next live stream.